Okay, so I'm going to show you how to create a course in Chisemba. It's actually pretty simple. Normally on an e-learning system you will have an e-learning toolbar and you might be coming from somewhere like home or my workspace. The way that you create a course is to first identify the course my courses button and click it. Now you can see that I don't have any courses here uh, but if I look over here you can see I have an option here called create course. So simple, I click that option to create a course and there I have a wizard uh, that enables me to create the course. So the first uh, thing I have to do is to input some basic data for the course, uh, the settings. So enter the course settings and check uh, whether the course is available first. That will be done automatically. So I'm going to create a course called, um, let's call it uh, eLearn Intro. eLearn Intro. And you can see from here that it is checked and that is available and then so I'm going to call it introduction to e-learning and what is its status going to be? I want it to be unpublished while I'm creating it otherwise somebody might come and join it. Um, do I want to enable or disable comments? I'm going to disable comments because I'm actually going to attach a wall to the course. The wall is very similar to a Facebook wall. <coughs> okay. Do I want the cup? What kind of access do I want? Uh, there are three levels of access that I can give. Uh, public, which the course can be accessed by anybody, including people who are not logged in. Then there is open, and the course can be accessed by users that are logged in only. And then private, you have to be logged in and also a member of the course. And then there's a thing called alerts here which I'm going to ignore for now. So I'm going to make this one private. I can always go back and make it open or public later if I want to and go to the next step. Okay so now I have to enter some more information about the course and select an image to re represent the course. Now normally you wouldn't see this quite so scrunched up as this, but uh, because I'm using a low resolution for recording. Okay, so I'm going to choose a file uh, to represent this course. And I have one on my hard drive and it's called Think Differently. So I'm going to go and locate that file um, and upload it. And there's the file called Think Differently and I'm going to give it a Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike license because that's what I always do. Upload the file. Now you can see the file is uploaded so I can click on it to select it and there it is. It's big and ugly and fat uh, because it hasn't yet been resized. Once uh, you've saved this uh, then the uh, the image will be resized. Ideally of course you would, resize, you would upload the image at the correct size but let's not worry about that now. So let's make up some text about uh, about e-learning. Um, what shall we say? Anything you can think of? Hmm. Uh, it's always difficult to 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 think of text when you're in the middle of doing a, a recording. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just grab some lorem epsom text and I'm going to just put that in for now. So here's my lorem epsom text. You can just imagine that I typed all of that in um, and maybe I could add a video or, or, or an audio clip or an image or whatever but I'm not going to do that right now. That's it. That's all I need to do. I've got my image and I've got my description so I can go to the next step. Next is course outcomes. You can choose outcomes uh, for the course. I'm not going to choose any outcomes right now so I'm going to just go to the next step. Then step four is choosing the plugins. Now plugins are just modules that know about uh, course. They know about the code for the course that you're in and so they will always specifically render their content for that course. So I'm actually going to just choose two plugins. One is course content which enables me to put content in the course and the other is file manager. You can see that there's quite a lot of uh, modules that are course relevant installed on this system um, but I'm not going to use them for now. That's it. I've chosen those two and I saved my plugins and congratulations my course is created and so we are now on the home page of the course and you can modify the course the contents of that page uh, by cl clicking turn editing on 
and this will allow you to add different kinds of content blocks to the page, um, different kinds of functionality blocks to the page, and of course you can add students to your course and so on by going to the course control panel, and that's it. Once you've done this, if, you, if your course is public and it's published, it's actually accessible and available right now for you to use. And that's all. Thank you very much.